What is clearly a scam that is so normalized people don't notice. Ink cartridges. Printer companies make barely any profit off of actual printers. The diamond industry. Specifically as it relates to jewelry. Everything that the average person knows about it stems from propaganda and advertisements created by D-Beers. They aren't rare. They aren't worth what you pay for them. They don't appreciate in value and are a terrible investment. They aren't special. Internet data cap. Those key master games that usually have something like a switch and a pair of beats and stuff. I work part time at an arcade and you physically cannot win a prize until the machine has taken its retail equivalent in cash. Printer ink. I just paid for the privilege of setting up my router. My cable company recently started trying to charge me for my router. Which I own. I got a notice saying we notice an error in billing and we will be charging you for the equipment rental starting in December. The you will. I have every receipt from every cable or phone transaction I've ever done for that exact reason. I paid outright for my router so I won't be renting their tie equipment at $12 a month. Now they want to charge me for my own property. After receiving that notice I hopped right onto customer service to get it resolved. And they directed me to their loyalty department because they could best handle it over there. I cut off the conversation and just cancelled my service. Cable companies are pure scum. Bottled water. Like Darsane. Especially in places like an amusement park that markups the price a shocking amount. Also the average markup of bottled water is 4000%. Which is I'm outrageous. The school picture industry. $80 for an awkward picture of my baby? Nah. Thanks. Payday loans. Every single person on the internet that sells some sort of os millionaire education it's all bull. Every single one of them. They are all lying liars. Most of them are not even rich to begin with. They fake it enough that some idiots buy it. You are customers to them. Nothing more. Ticketmaster. Often. The point isn't the not noticing. But the having a lack of better alternatives. Rent to own furniture and appliances. Starbucks. I pay $9. 99 for 51 ounces of Folgers ground coffee. Roughly 388 ounces cups. That comes out to about $0. 0.2 per cup of coffee. At Starbucks. A tall dark roast costs $1. 85. I could have 92. 5 cups of Folgers at home before I pay for one Starbucks. My tub of Folgers is worth $703. 0, 0 if I were to sell it at the same price as Starbucks. And I'm using reusable cups every day. Scientific journal memberships. ATM fees and low interest savings accounts. Edit. I know times are tough y'all but as someone who works in the financial industry if you don't already have a high yield savings account for your liquid funds I strongly recommend it. A lie. Cap 1. Amex all offer decent rates for what it is. Earning a few dollars in interest is way better than the pennies your big national bank is paying you. Edit 2. I'm typing something up for y'all. User mentioned below me stocks. It's a great idea for funds you're not going to be expecting to use for the next 6 months to a year. Time in the market is essential. You don't want to attempt to become a day trader. Index funds and mutual funds are your friends. Those portfolios typically track a certain aspect of the market and average out your returns. It's fun to pick individual shares of companies you know but that's something you really have to sit down and weigh the pros and cons on. Always do your own due diligence. And this is not even considering taxes. I'm definitely not a CPA. Those registries that people pay money to name a star. The games at fairs carnivals. Hot milfs in your area. Manufacturers refusing documentation to private repair enterprises and requiring you to get your products fixed by the dealer. Basically. The reason for the right to repair movement. Homeowner's insurance. 1. Sorry. 
We're not selling new policies in your area right now because thing just happened where thing equals earthquake, wildfire, flood, and other things you might want to insure against. 2. We don't cover that sort of problem. Where that sort of problem equals anything that actually happens to your house. Due to weasel wording loopholes 3. You submitted a claim. We're going to triple your rates forever after this. Paying for cable TV. The whole idea of paying was to create a revenue stream separate from that of marketing. There are a few out there, HBO. I think, but generally we pay to access the content and still have to spend 20% of the time sitting through commericals. And streaming comes in and we're free of advertisements again. For a bit. Now YouTube has tons of ads and other streaming services are talking about adding ads as well. Netflix starts doing ads I'm going right back to torrenting. Edit to ad because I can't reply to everyone lol. I either do Netflix or find it free to stream on those weird websites you need ad blokers for. IDK if it's normalized but McAfee security service. In my own experience with the service. It's done literally nothing for me except pop up every time I open my computer or nearly every 4 hours or so. I remember my ex GF's grandma who fell victim for the service. I tried to talk them down from it and not to pay the service but I was much too late for any semantics. So I just took it to memory that every computer already comes with security software and any outside security software. If not installed properly. Checked with 100% concentrated power of will. You're going to have a bad time. At least. I'm convinced that the McAfee service is just a virus that makes you pay similar to some of those other viruses that get your photo via your personal webcam. Lock your computer and show you a copy pasted photo of a legal document urging you to pay a ransom. What was it? Ransomware. So my belief is that even though most people may use McAfee as a computer firewall security service, it's more than likely a scam. Downvote me to hell. But at least convince me otherwise first. Reducing a price by one cent to trick our brains into thinking a product costs less than it actually is. Loot boxes in video games. Listen up. Everything is a scam. Everything. But if you send me $19.99 I can show you how to turn the tables on the scammer and get his money. Limited time offer. Send money now. Cat food. Look at the cat food at a random store. And see how the design brags about all the healthy vegetables they've crammed into your obligate carnivore's diet. Then check out the ingredients and see how corn, rice, etc. are often the first ingredients. Pet foods market toward humans by trying to appeal to human sensibilities. Not genuine desire to provide your cat with the best diet. Once you finish the high school, it's all fun ahead. Once you finish the degree, it's all fun ahead. Once you get a job, it's all fun ahead. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Once you die, it's all fun ahead. Annual college tuition increases. Why aren't they held to a competitive pricing model as opposed to having to take out a mortgage to go to school? Everyone wants to talk about government paying for college education. But there is no conversation on why is it that expensive anyway? Especially when some units have endowments in the billions that just the interest on those funds could literally pay the tuition for everyone that goes through the door. Update. Whoa. This went crazy. Thank you everyone for keeping it to a civil discussion on the topic as opposed to going on political rants. And thank you for the awards kind strangers. Funerals and everything to do with them. The funeral industry has insane pricing. Some of the funeral homes and vendors are even predatory. Getting grieving families to pay upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. Because that's what the deceased would have wanted. College textbook prices. It's crazy how ridiculous expensive they are putting even more of a financial burden on students. Timeshare anything. There is currently a major argument in my family. My grandparents own a timeshare in Vegas and want to leave it to one of the grandkids. Not a single one of us wants it. 
It is looking like I am going to end up with it unfortunately. Mobile game ads that show gameplay of a Call of Duty or Skyrim style game but in reality are just a spin-off of Candy Crush. Doing your own taxes. And paying to use a privately owned software, or a service, when the government could totally do it for you. Send you the details. And ask if it's correct. Edit. I want to mention that I'm in Canada. Which is similar to the US in this regard. I use the free version of the TurboTax software and file for free. But they make the free version intentionally incomplete. So I miss out on tax savings. Edit number 2. Thanks for everyone's free tax software suggestions. Simple tax and studio tax sound great. If I was in the USA I would totally use TurboTax success. Com, but everyone should read the site's Ossa Tax Avoidance Hall of Fame. Seriously though. I've been procrastinating on my taxes and I'm late for the first year ever. You've saved me with these suggestions and made me feel the anonymous kind of internet famous with the upvotes and awards. Most mega churches. Most kids shows are just long advertisements for toys. Having to pay $100 plus for glasses. Hospitals OMG. Lol ask them for an itemized bill, like everything they gave you and how much it costs, and they'll cut the bill down by like 50%. Scientology. Planned obsolescence. Where products are deliberately designed to have a defect or worse performance shortly after the warranty has expired. Edit. Wow thanks for all the upvotes and the rewards. Here are two examples on how companies can influence how long a product can last. Using inferior materials and critical components. Like using soft metal screws or cheap plastic instead of metal in stress bearing parts. Companies know how long these components on average use last. So they can strategically place them. Designing the product so that components that often need replacing cannot be replaced by just anyone. An example is that a lot of products now have batteries that you cannot replace yourself anymore. Sometimes they are even so designed that even independent repair shops will have a hard time replacing these components. It is not only phones. But can be any electronic product. If you tell me the truth. I won't get mad. The price for cable and internet. And paid internships. Anyone who gives and paid internships. People get exploited like in that and for what? Most times they don't even count. For what purpose? I get so irritated when someone posts and paid but you'll be given a certificate. Shut the up and do the work by yourself you lazy ass. Edit. I'm talking about unpaid internships which don't give you anything other than a certificate. There are very few companies which offer unpaid internships that actually provide some value to you. Application fees for colleges. Apartments. Etc. Extended warranties. To protect and serve. Church is not getting taxed. I may get heat for this but. The sneaker shoe industry. Holy you don't need masses of fancy artistic looking running shoes collected in boxes that you go and spend $1000 10. 000 on at a swap meet. You may as well be collecting very expensive Funko Pops. You're not going to wear them. And if you wear them you're only going to worry about them while you wear them. And the markup is insanity. I know people who do this. And they are leveraging money they don't really have on something that's going to sit on their shelf and do nothing. It's bad enough that like Skechers, the literal Kmart brand of shoe, cost over $125 a pop for a really crappily assembled shoe. But to spend in the thousands for what is essentially stamp collecting is nonsensical bordering on obsessive compulsive. And don't get me started on women's shoes by design houses. I saw someone dish out $1,800 for Lebatons or something. What are you wearing those foot destroying shoes for and why would some leather and glue and plastic cost 1800 bucks? Holy what a racket. Credit scores. Even our personal banker told us that credit scores have veered far off of what they were originally supposed to do. My husband's credit score dropped almost 100 points after he paid off a large loan in full 6 months early. DLC. 
If I pay for the game I want the whole game. Depends on the DLC though. Some DLCs are, or used to be, expansions of already whole games. Minimum wages staying the same. While the price of virtually everything else rises. Health insurance in the US. Costs a small fortune. Never covers. And you still end up bankrupt if you're not rich and get sick or hurt. Circumcision. Maybe not normalized but very few people realize this. A lot of stores will create fake deals to drive sales. For example. Where I work there was a barbecue cover for $69, CAD BTW, which needed a replacement tag. Once it was printed. It was the same price but they added original $99. The original tag didn't have this. Before you buy something on sale. Make it's actually a sale. The diamond industry. Here come the down votes. Organized religion. Coffee. One bag of store coffee, let's go with high quality I, at $11. Will last you one month. While they charge you $6 per cup at coffee shops. Get all the fixings for it to be $20 a month at the store and it is still far cheaper than buying it at the coffee shop. Do the math and how much you spend a year. And see if it would benefit you to buy a fancy espresso machine in order to make the same or even better coffee you would buy at Starbucks. Chiropractic treatment. Started as a scam. Continued as a scam. Fully anti-science. Paid into law by lobbyists. Just pure garbage. There are some minor benefits. But mainly because they have branched out into muscle therapy and massages and such. Mostly just woo woo. Five in every town. Defenders abound. Look it up. War. Particularly the war on drugs. How many countries have the USA invaded when really all the USA was after was their resources in those countries didn't really pose any sort of threat that justified spending billions if not trillions invading. You can start by counting all the banana republics. Student loans. What started as an assistance program to help democratize higher education so it wasn't just for the super wealthy has turned into a limitless source of profits for lenders and colleges, even state public universities. Schools are now immune to market price pressure. No matter how high they raise fees. Prospective students will always be able to get enough loan money to meet them. On the lender's side. They have no incentive to screen either borrowers or the schools. Because the loans are almost impossible to absolve. You can default. But you still owe for life. It's some of the only debt you can't discharge in bankruptcy. So every lender is happy to give a six-figure check to wide-eyed 18-year-olds who have near-zero real-world or job experience and have been sold a wing and dream by college recruiters. The only person who bears any risk in the whole system is the students, who are told from day one of kindergarten by parents, teachers, TV, every motivational speaker that drives by, and absolutely the recruiters that you go to college or you're a complete waste. Whatever it takes you go get that degree. Our justice system in general. While it's better than a lot of countries. The cost of a good lawyer. The cost of bail. Plus systemic racism ultimately makes it not fair for all. Pyramid schemes. MLM companies. Gasoline prices ending in 9 stroke 10 s of a cent. Lotteries. Apple. $600 for a pair of headphones? The cost of healthcare in the United States. Leasing a car. Or maybe I just don't get it. But it feels more like a rental to me. I have to keep this vague for obvious reasons. I'm a professor in Canada. A younger acquaintance in a related field has his doctorate and is trying to get some publishing credentials under his belt in order to get a job. If you don't have connections, you usually need to build up your CV with books and articles before a university looks at you. A well-known publishing house said that they will publish this acquaintance's book. If he pays for the publication, this will cost him thousands and thousands of dollars. What's more, said publishing house gets to keep any profit from the book. All this guy will get is the publishing credit for his resume. 
it's a despicable pay to play racket. Any sort of detox cleanse. The liver. Kidneys. Digestive system. Skin. And lungs all naturally do this. Detoxing drinks just give you diarrhea which gives the impression of a cleanse. Reddit gold. Meh. Everyone knows gold is worthless. But it's a relatively fun and harmless way to monetize a website that would go bust otherwise. Edit. Of course this gets gold IA thanks anonymous. Health insurance in America. Bottled water. Except in certain areas. Working for tips. Yeah at some places waiters waitresses make more. But not always. In Pakistan when we recharge our phone balance we pay a tax on whole amount but we also pay further tax for when we can purchase or do a call. Like we recharge RS100 we receive RS70 and also when we call or purchase any packages they again deduct mean cal charges as RS2 they deduct too. 5 mean. 5 is another tax. Printers that won't print because a single cartridge is empty. Even though the rest are fine. EA. Or maybe people do notice that now. But yeah. They suck. In America. When you go to pick up your food order, not delivery. And they ask for a tip on the receipt or credit card machine. Edit. I'm talking pre-pandemic. I have been tipping during COVID. Planned obsolescence. Looking at you. Politics. Semicolon. People think they're voting for representation. But it's really just a show to distract people from the fact that lawmakers are paid by corporations to do their bidding. Religion. The lottery. Odds of winning big are so infinitely small. There's a reason they call it the idiocy tax. Let's the state raise money without raising taxes. Gross. Insurance in general. You pay a monthly fee specifically so that in the event of a costly disaster, the insurance company will pay for it. But when it comes time to make a claim, the company's profit incentive is to screw you over and find a way not to pay out. Would you like to give one dollar to charity at the checkout counter? You know who claims all those dollars as charitable donations on their taxes? It's not you. Edit. I understand that this is illegal. And I know that the customer can claim the donation on their receipt. That doesn't mean that bad corporations don't. Or that good customers do. Even the honest companies get the PR boost of generating dollar sign x for y charity on your dollar. It's a scam. Do your research. Donate to reputable charities on your own and let the big box stores do their own charitable work PR. Okay. I'll be the bad guy. Tipping for service. Considering that restaurants can lower base pay to employees due to the anticipation of tips. Wise out jobs as customers to pay the employees salary. Three questions I have for those defending tipping. 1. Why is it so accepted in the US versus other countries? 2. Do you tip, covered aside, for takeout? 3. Do you tip fast food employees? But, if I pay my employees a proper wage, I'll have to up my prices and consumers won't like that. Bitch please. We're already expected to add an extra 15-20% at the end. Stop with the bull. Socialism. Apple's headphone jack removal. Supposedly was to make the phone thinner. But everyone puts a case on anyways. Samsung Galaxy S10 was 7. 8 mm thick with a headphone jack. Apple removed the jack with iPhone 7. Which was 7. 1 mm thick. That's great. But every iPhone since has been thicker. And very convenient to remove that. Wait till the annoyance died down. Then release AirPods. The whole thing was clearly a scam to artificially make Bluetooth a borderline necessity right before releasing Apple Bluetooth earbuds. And everyone ate it up. Values based advertising. Coca Cola doesn't put queer people in their ads because they support LGBTQIA plus rights. They do it because they want the queer's money. Same with Chick fil A. Etc. If they can get you to buy into that bull, they get brand loyalty. 
The ultimate prize in an oligarchy. I don't understand how or why psychics, faith healers and homeopaths are still allowed to practice. And yes that includes astrology. Giving credit card details for a free trial and auto renewal fine print. Heck. Stop it after my trial ends. If I really liked it. I'll pay for it. Homeopathy. Brands high prices, especially clothing. Most modern manufactured goods. Designed to not last. So you keep buying more. Those claw toy machines in every arcade and RSLs. The fact that so many products require you to create an account and register it just to use it. This is starting to become so widespread. Even cameras are doing that now. S me off so much. I don't want to be tied to some stupid cloud BS I just want to use the damn thing. Phones themselves are terrible for this too. I should not need an Apple or Google account to have a phone I should be able to use it as a standalone device with just the cell service and that's it. All this sort of BS is only so they can spy on you. Marriage. The fact that you have to pay to bury loved ones. Most DLCs and PS Plus. You pay a buttload for the game. And for your console. But oh. Playing online must be a $70 service per year. Master Race doesn't do that and never needed to. As for DLC. Some are deserving as it took a lot of work to expand on the game. But let's be honest. I would have rather waited until the game is finalized and pay $70 for it. Then pay $70 for an unfinished game and have to pay another $30 when the rest comes out. It's in your face robbery. Working 40 hours a week. Insurance. Immo just because there are consumers who come out ahead on the deal doesn't mean it's not a scam. You're more likely not to come out ahead. Because if they weren't taking in more than they paid out they couldn't be in business. Insurance is paying a premium marginal cost for the risk you're taking because an unexpected loss would be too burdensome. It's not a scam unless you don't understand it. Property taxes. You can never truly own your home. Diamond rings for marriage. Basically the entire wedding industry. Starting a new life together? Why not plunge yourselves into thousands of dollars of debt? Toothpaste commercial where actors filled their toothbrush with toothpaste too much which is unnecessary. Any of the food they sell at Disneyland Disney World. While they are delicious as all get out. You'll pay for the nose and not get too much for your money. The Verizon $1 scam. Verizon tacked on a $1 fee onto 8% of their customers bills each month so over the course of the year. They did it to every customer. About 150. 000. 000. 000. Their rationale was. 50% wouldn't notice and just pay the charge or would notice and wouldn't spend any time fighting a $1 charge. 50% would notice the charge and call to have it removed. Of those. 35% would get frustrated while on the call and give up. This added approximately $120. 000. 000 to the bottom line each year. 3 total. Until caught. Once caught. They paid a $25.000 fine. American Healthcare. Apple. Bottled water. Mine is so far down but giving to charity is the checkout year. You rounded up your 29 cent donation to street. Jude. But John Smith didn't donate Safeway Albertsons PetSmart JCPenney did and they used your money to avoid paying taxes by writing it off like a charitable donation. I will never donate to those. I choose my own local charities to donate my money to and I don't feel guilty denying whatever charity my local box chain grocer is pushing this week. This is very incorrect. The grocery store, or whatever, just forwards your money to the charity. You can claim it if you wanted to. Even if they did count it as their own charity donation, which they do not and cannot legally, it would be exactly offset by the dollar sign. 29 they have to claim as income that you just gave them. 
Google and think some time instead of believing nonsense you see in a chain Facebook post.